Hello and welcome to Experience Realty. My name is Tarun. Waterfront is very limited and hence highly sought after. Cities usually follow this trend of development around the coastline and many have replicated this phenomena with aplomb and today these cities are bustling metropolises. Now Dubai is no alien to this concept with the coastline which saw major development over the last two decades and now there are no land parcels left here to develop. Dubai being the land of superlatives where the next best opportunity is just around the corner was confronted with this conundrum. Enter Nakheel with the perfect solution. One look at the waterfront of Dubai and the legacy of Nakheel is embellished on the map of Dubai when other developers were busy building on land and minting money. Nakheel was busy investing on reclaiming land in the sea with an intent of giving Dubai the largest islands in the shape of a palm, the map of the world in the middle of the sea. These properties are now iconic and as they say, the early bird catches the prey. Investors who believed in the Dubai dream and were early investors are now sitting on staggering appreciation figures. Well, past is history, future is mystery, now is a gift. And the indubitable master of the realm of the sea is giving you another opportunity to enter the waterfront of Dubai. Welcome to Dubai Island. We need to understand the location of Dubai Islands. As usual, the map will give us a crystal clear perspective about this location. Nestled in the heart of the city, Dubai Islands is where it all began for Dubai. This location bears testament to the transition of Dubai from a small fishing town to a global metropolis. And it is very relevant even today as 65% of the population till date lives here and a majority of businesses operate from this largely leasehold area. Since Dubai Islands offer freehold property, ownership rights, a significant portion of the population will be interested in this project, particularly the entrepreneurs who have their businesses in the old Dubai area and prefer to live in close proximity to their businesses. This project is going to be a great offering for them. As we all know, developments in proximity to the port and airport are highly sought after when investing in real estate. This project in close proximity to both DXP, which is only 10 kilometers away, and Port Rashid will only add to the value of this waterfront property, which command a premium, which could be in the range of 20 to 25% compared to properties which are not waterfront. Sitting adjacent to the historic Deira district, Dubai Islands is close to the cultural heritage, entertainment hubs, Port Rashid. The project is one kilometer away from Deira, four kilometers away from the cruise terminal, five kilometers away from Dubai Maritime City and downtown, the pulsating heart of Dubai is only 25 kilometers away. This man-made archipelago consisting of five 
islands A, B, C, D and E with a landmass of 17 square kilometers, waterfront of 50 kilometers and 21 kilometers of pristine private beaches will also boast nine marinas and it'll be in perfect harmony with the vision of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum and the D2033 economic agenda as well as the vision 2040 of the government where Dubai has to be the best place to live in the world and has to claim the number one destination for tourism in the world. In order to be the most favoured tourism destination in the world and the best place to live in the world, Dubai has to increase the length of its public beaches by 400%. Nature reserves and natural areas should constitute 60% of the Emirates' total area and the hospitality footprint needs to be enhanced by 134%, taking it up to 168 square kilometers. Dubai Islands will play a pivotal role in the actualization of these goals as eventually the islands will boast 86 resorts with 20 to 30,000 hotel keys, two golf courses, an 18-hole championship golf course and a 9-hole golf course. Besides this, the islands will have two square kilometers of the landmass dedicated to green and open spaces. The islands will also have 38,479 residential units, adding much needed supply to the real estate market, which with only 740,000 residential units needs to add at least 483,000 up to 550,000 units over the next few years to accommodate the population of around 5 million by 2030 and hence the islands will play a critical role in balancing this skewed demand and supply situation in Dubai real estate. The islands have just had a launch by the name Bay Villas on Island B. Residing on the Island B means living amidst swimmable beaches, waterfront parks, promenades and prolific green spaces an exceptional resort-style living island that values and integrates its rapport with the landscape, live the island life close to the city yet worlds away. The Island Bay Master Plan consists of unique residential community, beach resorts and marinas. Each offers a different lifestyle experience, presenting diverse amenities and services. Collectively, they form an integrated coveted residential island experience, an exceptional innovation combining natural beauty and prestigious amenities to create resort-style living. This low-density resort setting presents five typologies from which you can enjoy 1.3 km beach length and 1.3 km of rock edge promenade. Here, Nakheel is offering you a visionary opportunity to live in an island exclusively where the master plan of this island consists of unique residential community, beach resorts and beautiful marinas. Now let's see what we can expect in Bay Villas, one of the most unique offerings by the master developer Nakheel. Here they are offering a selection of waterfront townhouses and independent villas with private beach access. The expected prices for three and four bedroom townhouses are around four million dirhams. Three and four bedroom semi-detached villas will come at a price point of around 5.2 million. For four and five bedroom garden villas, the starting prices will be around 8.7 million. And five bedroom waterfront villas with an average price of around 13.8 million. And the most coveted beach mansions will start at 45 million. The prices of the properties may vary depending upon the location of the plot and the views. Finally, the burgeoning question that you all have, and I can sense it, it's coming to a boiling point where you already have preconceived notions. This is going to make you break your bank for acquiring. However, Nakheel again has outdone themselves with an offering of a product which has no parallels in terms of price point as well as what is there on offer. Just to give you a perspective, entering into a waterfront townhouse community, you're looking at a minimum starting price of 3,917 dirhams per square foot, as is the case of Surla Mer, a waterfront community by Miras. What we are getting on the island is only 1,293 dirhams per square foot. 
probing further if you are in pursuance of a villa, then the only likely comparison would be the palm and garden homes on the palm which were launched at 8 million way back in 2013 and today we have units which are not even upgraded and are transacting at 29 million dirhams. If you do the mathematics, it comes to around 5800 dirhams per square foot. A similar unit on Dubai Island is starting only at 13.85 million dirhams and you're looking at a per square foot price of 2073 dirhams. Now, to acquire a townhouse or a villa on an island in the sun with uninterrupted panoramic views of the Persian Gulf, you do not have a better opportunity in Dubai real estate market than Dubai Islands. This is Tarun saying sayonara.